Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. So this unboxing is from DIY Digital Art. So thank you to DIY Digital Art for sending me these items for the review. So I have just a couple random things. So first let's do the stuff we can see. Um, so first is this, they were calling it the pickup pen. Um, I don't know. It's supposed to have like a sticky one end and then a brush on the other end. Oh, it, it, it is sticky. Like, do you see? It's like, <laughs> it's sticking to my table here. And I'm guessing you should be able to clean this. And then, so I figure, let's try out, let's some, spill some drills here. I don't know. Oh, so this sticky um, thing is seven, 75 cents on DIY digital art. So let's, let's, let's like spread them out like oh no we spilled the stuff or i should have done this ah i spilled the stuff um <laughs> and then i guess you could use the brush to put it next to each other and then this serves as the oh, i don't know about that it doesn't come off of this that easily oh oh hmm am i doing this wrong It doesn't seem to come off this thing easily. And then this thing fell out. So, yeah. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong or... Or what. Let's try that again. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten so many. Poured out so many. Yeah, I don't know about this one. It's I think the the brush itself is okay because then you know it could brush the stuff, but this sticky thing oh it came off again. It falls out of the pen and it yeah it falls out of the pen and the drills are too sticky. It sticks too much to it. So I don't know if I'll I'll probably just have an easier time just doing what I'm doing with my hands and then you know breathing onto my hands to make it lubricated should have done this on a tray <laughs> but yeah I think yeah I don't know about the pen so luckily if you end up buying this it, this is only 75 cents um, maybe it works with just a few. No, it's just too sticky on this thing. So then you're you're doing that and then the thing falls off. You see, it's already falling off. So maybe I got a broken one or... Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe it's supposed to be... No. If I put it in this way, will it fall out? Nope. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, the pen might be a kind of a failure. Oh well. Okay, let me just put it back in here since it is all sticky and do a cleanup of my drills here. I should, I should edit this out. So editing me, go edit this out. If it's not edited out, I didn't listen to me and <laughs> because yeah no one wants to see me just do this this is boring all right oh last one okay so yeah that one i don't know about the pen <laughs> next thing i got is this thing which is supposed to be like a cake smoother but they're but they're saying it's for diamond painting too um, worst case scenario is I'll just use this for cake smoothing because I don't know, I don't. But it's supposed to, I don't know, help you smooth the diamond painting. Is this to help you smooth them when it's on? So I'm going to go get a diamond painting. I'll be back. So I got just a, the first small diamond painting I saw <laughs> in my portfolio book. So I don't know. 
Huh, I'll have to test this out, like, in a real Tamon painting. But not, like, finished, like, not completely finished to see if this will push them down. And I kind of like it. I feel like it actually might... I don't know, I'll have to test it on something that, you know, has not been sitting in my portfolio a long time, but it does it does feel like I'm smoothing it out. I don't know how much better it would be than using a rolling pin, because that's what I usually use now is a rolling pin. Um, I don't know, it actually is kind of fun. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, so worst case, in, uh, for, so it might be useful, I'll, like I said, I'll test this out. and. Hopefully I remember to say something at the end of the video, and if not, leave me a comment and be like, Joan, how was it? Because I would have tested it out, but I just might not remember to do it at the video. Yeah, I think this could help. I don't know. <laughs> Let me pause and put this away. Okay, so yeah, this um, cake smoother aka diamond painting polisher is one dollar on DIY digital art site. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the plastic. Okay. <laughs> Next thing. This should be a diamond painting now. Done with the tools. Sometimes having the YouTube channel I'm thinking I should try out the different tools in case people are wondering about them. I don't know. But yeah, this next one should be a diamond painting. So, ordinary toolkit. These are round drills. And here it is. It's these daisies and dragonflies. I just like this one because it was super, super colorful. And it's totally my type of image. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm like... I don't know why. I like the flowers and the and then animal pictures. I kind of wish there were more food pictures because I would totally be getting those too. Um, but I haven't seen ones that I like. Okay. So daisies and dragonflies. And these are like have some of my favorite kind of colors. So there's 21 colors in this. Um, all the symbols are letters. And I think it's drill field. Looks fine. I don't see any issues with this whatsoever. There looks like there's going to be a lot of color blocking, at least in the white. Um, it is printed in that way where the symbols are circles and it looks like it's superimposed over the image. Which I have noticed the more and more I've d done them, they're actually harder to diamond paint than um, the previous way they did it where, you know, they just pretty much had a grid. Um, so you were putting the round drills on a square square, in a square. <laughs> um, and... I actually found, I actually am finding that doing it this way is a tad bit harder to diamond paint just because um, sometimes when the circles get printed, they're not like, they're not as obvious as when they were in the grids. But I, I'm, I'm, so far I'm liking the results from the, the diamond painting being printed this way. <laughs> okay. So this is, where's my ruler? So this is $5.25, and it is, two, it's a little bit less than 25, just, just like two millimeters, and by 34 and a half. So yeah, I think this one looks really awesome. I keep forgetting to look at the drills. Okay, so let's see. There are no DMC numbers on the drills, but 21 colors, lots of white. And these are like, but the turquoises are like my favorite kind of colors. It's lots of blues. And then here's like the more pops of color. 
Okay. So yeah, no, this one, this one looks like it looks really good. Okay. Next item. So the next item I actually did not choose, but they, I think since I only had, um, I only had like, I'm only really going to have two diamond paintings in this, they, they popped this one in. Because the other one was a little higher price, so it took up all my budget. Um, Etsy. So, ordinary toolkit. So these are rhinestone drills, and it's this... <laughs> what are they? Snowmen? Snowmen with top hat um, glasses? Um, it got to me intact. Okay, so there's these are fun glasses. There are no, no um, glass in there. I'm gonna see if it fits me. Okay, it fits my head, but then I have a small head. But I, these are these are for children, um, unless you know you want to wear them. And and I and I was like, okay. So if if my work actually has a Christmas party this year, which I doubt. That's poor, sad COVID. Why are you still around? <laughs> this would be a nice thing to wear as a gag, I guess, in for Christmas. We, uh, my workplace does have like a um, an ugly sweater thing sometimes. I don't usually join because I don't like buying clothes for just single use. I don't know why, like holiday clothes, but. It looks like there's only four colors. Um, so they're rhinestones, they're all rhinestones. Even the black is a black rhinestone. So four colors and it's these snowmen, or I don't know. They kind of look like chickens almost, um, ducks, but it, it is the snowmen because this is the carrot nose, right? And then with the top hat, I may or may not finish this, or I might just give this away to someone who wants to, like, I don't know, do something fun with their kids. Because um, I don't know what I would do with this, but if you do have kids, this might be a fun, um, like, toy for them to try out. Let me see, how was this all nicely put in? It was like that, and then it was in the baggie. I'll have to fix that. But yeah, the, oh, I forgot to say, this is $4, and it's about 15 by eh, 12. Is there actually plastic on this? It doesn't, it's, it's like cut so well, I can't even tell. Yeah, there is plastic on it. So yeah. It's these snowman glasses. Okay. Last item. This one should be... Is there anything else left in there? Nope. It should be a metal sign kind of thing. So it looks like um, ordinary toolkit, except there's a couple baggies. Um, these look like they're round drills, ordinary round drills. I don't know what's that. Okay, so this just looks like just a dent in the metal. Okay, I had some technical technical difficulties there. My camera decided to stop recording, but yeah, um, and but at least I noticed right away. Um, but yeah, it's this um, wood paneled metal disc looking. It's a fake wood panel metal um, disc that says "Welcome to our home," um, and it is about 30 centimeters in diameter. Um, so yeah, it looks like you, you diamond paint the welcome to our and, and then the red truck here. And it comes with these multiple magnets. So, um, so let's see. So while I remember this, this is $22 and 75 cents. So it is a little bit higher price, but I think it's because it's interactive, right? So, so it does come with these magnets and I think you're supposed to just kind of add it to um, the back of the truck here and be like, see, it's it changes, you could change it per season. So 
there is is that a unicorn i'm not sure what sure unicorn and then here's some um sun sunflowers yeah you could just have the sunflowers on the back of the truck here see them some cake here easter eggs some owls ooh pumpkins it's a cat here's a christmas tree here's some flowers is this more easter eggs is this a repeat is the other easter eggs another oh, they're slightly different color easter eggs um i don't know what this is oh these are hearts i think yeah, I, I mean, it, maybe it'll be more obvious when it's diamond painted. I think this, these are hearts, for, I guess, for Valentine's Day. And then here's some pumpkins with some ghosts for Halloween. So, so yeah, I just thought that was nice that this was like kind of interactive and then you could just like have the sign up and then change the magnet on here. So, yeah. Um, I don't know where you could, like, could you just put this in the back here and put like a piece of bat, of, uh, like a piece of plastic and then just store all of these in the back. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. You could put multiple of them at once, be like. <laughs> you know, you're a kid, like you're just like, whatever, let's just put in whatever. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be that you're, you're, you, should, you should be able to interchange these things for the truck. Um, they said there's supposed to be 12. So one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah so there's 12 12 different magnets and let's see and okay so i thought these were just gonna be regular drills but there does look like there are there, there's a lot of colors. I don't know how many, but I see 24 here. Oh, here's a 26. So, so yeah, there's some stars, some yellow ABs, and then some marquees, some more marquees, and then some blue here, and then some white. These look like ordinary red, um, ordinary diamond painting drills, and round. this a different than the other one see this okay so this this is a more off-white while well, that's a more white white um, and then some pinks here so yeah on the strip here there looks like it's ordinary drills but then there are a couple specials in this one okay so I am going to finish this this sign that's my goal um, before I post this video so stick around to the end oh. and then the magnets were in here okay so so in case you don't remember what was in this video um here's this sign with the multiple magnets here um here is the did i say how much the sign was it is to $22.75 here is the dragonflies and the daisies and here is the the snowman glasses here's the cake smoother aka i don't know diamond painting smoother you know diamond painting smoother and here is the sticky brush pen thing so i'll see you when i show you the finish of this metal plate i'll see you later okay i'm back so just to let you know, I did test out the cake smoother on a diamond painting and it does, I feel like it does work. Like I went like this on, on a diamond painting I just done and I, and I could hear the tick tick, you know, like the little click sometimes you hear when, when your drill is not all the way in. So it, it does work. Um, and I guess it's more space saving than the roller but i think the roller is a little bit easier and so if you have one of those rolling pin kind of things it is easier but it is kind of nice just to do this sometimes on your diamond painting i don't know but yeah so i did finish the sign here welcome to our home i did um 
do uh, some a little extra blinging up because I think this just came with with mo mostly normal drills and it came with a couple specials. So I did like use some AB drills for the writing here and then I changed the lights here um, and the window into rhinestones. So those were originally ordinary drills, but then I figure for the lights and then the bumper, I don't know, what is it? The rim bumper back here, I, I used some rhinestones. And then since this is supposed to be glass, I decided to use rhinestones there, but everything else is how it originally was, um, except I did use AB drills for the lettering. So what did I write? Okay, so the, the sign is 30 centimeters in diameter, in case I didn't um, put that in. There was 26 colors, seven of the, um, six of them being specials. This took me two days to complete, and my main thing is you can see the guide circles. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get an example. Do you see the guide circle under that red drill there? And sometimes these the glue is like springy, like even if you move it, it'll just spring back. So, so yeah, you could see the glide circles sometimes under the darker color drills. And then, other than that, I don't think I had any problems. I had, which one was this one? Oh, it was this one. I had plenty of drills left. Um, so, but yeah, like I said, these were ordinary drills for most of them. Um, unfortunately, there's no DMC symbols, so um, DMC numbers, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of these drills, but we'll see. Um, okay, so I forgot. There are pieces to this item. So, so yeah, um, here is, I don't know. It's like Easter eggs, I guess, but it's a little chaotic because they they were trying to do these flowers in there, the flower pattern, but the it's just too small. So this one is a tiny bit pixelated, but hey, look, it does work. It It's on the truck. It's magnetized on there. And yeah, I don't know about this egg one. It's a little, like I said, it's, it's a little chaotic and you can't really tell what it is. Um, here is... A present with is this supposed to be cake I don't know see I did change the the ribbon to be rhinestones and so the ribbon is rhinestones but yeah the rest of it I'm like I don't know about it either it's a little pixelated but I guess it you can kind of get the gist of what it is here is the unicorn hugging a star I did change the certain portions into rhinestones here the unicorn horn the star and then there was like hearts on the star or is that supposed to be the unicorn's hands i don't know um <laughs> but yeah this one i i don't know oh wait the unicorn horn is covering up the o here um let's see we'll have to we'll have to have the unicorn kind of falling out of the tree the the truck because the unicorn horn wait let me see if i could get it so that it there actually it will fit if i just put it all the way to the edge there's the unicorn hugging the star which seems really random <laughs> okay so this is i think supposed to be for valentine's day and there's a bunch of hearts but i can't i can't see it so there's just not enough of a color difference between the the drills for you to see the hearts um, and then this one is supposed to be some flowers, which, yeah, so I think some of the designs are just a little too intricate for being this small, so you are getting a lot of pixelation, but it's still really pretty. Um, it's just, you're, you're like looking at it and you're like, what is it? Okay, so this one here is the cat, and I think this one is a little bit more obvious what it is. Um, it's... A cat there and you know a really big cat because it's like almost it's as big as the truck okay so this one I think turned out much better this is some Easter eggs here I think I did use gold drills for the this egg here because I wanted a golden egg um, but yeah and I think this one this one is a much better representation for the Easter thing so if I was going to have a Easter 
basket thingy here, I would use this one as opposed to this one, which is really, really busy, but yeah. And then these are supposed to be some pumpkins. It not the most defined, but you can see the pumpkin stems here, and I guess you could get the gist of it being a pumpkin. I'm probably not going to use this one, but this one I think turned out a little bit better here. This is some ghosts with a with some jack o' lanterns. I did replace the the parts where of the eyes and stuff with rhinestones, and then I made the ghost rhinestones too. Um, but yeah, this one I think is a little bit better, and oh, they kind of I kind of like how that looks. So I think, yeah, this one turned out a little bit better. Oh, and this one is this one is really pretty too. So this one is looks like it's supposed to be some sunflowers, and I think, yeah, no, that one that one turned out really good. And then here are some owls. I actually think this one turned out pretty good too. So. Um, there it is on the truck. I don't know about some of the backgrounds not really matching the truck, but that's okay. <laughs> and then here is the Christmas tree. And this one I think turned out pretty good. I did change the, the, um, the ribbon, I guess the, I don't know what you call it, the, with rhinestones. So those are rhinestones. And then I just, I did change the ornaments, the few ornaments that were there into yellow rhinestones so yeah i think that looks pretty good this one i think will really work with the tr so so yeah um there are all the random pieces of this thing it is magnetic so i could put them all around i wonder if you could just kind of store them in the back when you're not using them will they fit you know if you're hanging this and you just kind of want to store all this stuff in the back Will they fit? You might have to be creative in how you do it um, to make sure they fit. Wait, I have. Oh, oh, oh! I think, I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. Okay. So yeah, you could just store the, the um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, okay, there are eleven, so there's twelve pieces. You can't just store the ones that you're not using in the back there and then just put it in the front there. Oh, well, I think it doesn't work if you... No, it's fine. Okay, it might not be the strongest hold, Maybe this one is the, the, it might not be the strongest hold, but it will hold, I think, if you just put it this way instead of being um, upside down. So yeah, there is this one. So, and then if you want to see all of the other shapes here are here they are so thank you to diy digital art for sending me these items for review and thank you for watching and happy diamond painting bye